Okay, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a roof truss. So I have a roof truss uh, here to look at the parts. So um, we can do something perhaps like this. Uh, maybe we'll do two different types. We'll do because uh, roof trusses have different sort of profiles in the web. So these are these are called the webs. In this one here, it's the post, but it's technically still a kind of web. Uh, it's a bottom cord, and we have our uh, top cords, and the angle of the uh, top cords on a roof is called the pitch, uh, the, the roof pitch. So uh, let's get to drawing a, a truss. Okay, I'm going to do this in millimeters. Um, it, it's the same thing with if you follow through with um, with imperial measurements. Uh, let's have a look. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line. So I type L and press enter or space and I'm just going to pick anywhere on the screen and as you can see my um, lines sort of just going around uh, when I move my mouse around so what I want to do is I want to press the F8 key if yours is not already on um, it should just go when I want to move the mouse you go in an ortho orthographic sort of mode so as you see it goes up and down so I want to move the mouse to the right and I'm going to type 4000 and that's uh, 4000 millimeters um, you could do that in inches uh, whatever you like on the top of my head uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, so, anyway, so we've got our base. Uh, this is going to be our bottom cord. So, this is bottom our bottom cord. So, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to offset, and I'm going to offset uh, 90 mil. It's usually the thickness of uh, trusses. Uh, sometimes these bottom cords are a bit thicker, depending on the truss. Uh, that can be for two reasons. One is structurally it needs to do that, and sometimes people have exposed trusses so they uh, want thicker timber so it looks a lot nicer than just the thin timber so I know that 90 mil timber in Australia um, is I think in America what you'd be called um, four inches I think so it'd be a four by two uh, where well, this would be a 90 by 35 usually okay so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw uh, make sure we've got snaps on so when I typed L for line, as you can see, it's snapping onto this. Now, if you don't have a snap, um, you can press the F3 key. If I press the F3 key now, you see it's not snapping to anything. And when I turn it back on, it clicks onto there. Um, another thing you can do is if you hold down the shift key and press your right mouse button, you'll come up with this menu here, and then you can let go of both the shift key and the mouse button. And then you can pick what um, you want to snap to. So we want to snap to the endpoint. It's already selected, but we could just snap. And then, and then all it'll do will only snap to endpoints then. So we click on that, and then I'm going to draw a line to the middle, to the midpoint. Um, doesn't have to be, I'm just going to do that. Now I'm going to select that line, and I'm going to uh, left click on the, the blue uh, square, which is called a grip. It's now red, it's uh, now a hot grip. And if you can see down the bottom here, now that the grip selected, it says stretch. If I press the space bar, uh, space bar, it'll now say move. If I press it again, it'll say rotate. So we're going to want to rotate this, and we'll perhaps rotate to a roof pitch of say 25 degrees. Now, what we're going to do in this next step, um, it depends on how your AutoCAD set up. It may work correctly, it may not. So what I'm going to, I'm going to just type 25 and press enter. And as you can see, it's worked for me correctly because of the, I have my orientation set up right. Now you may have done that. And it may have done this. Um, and the reason being is if we type UN for units, um, we have these here, this angle thing. So clockwise, I think it's just the one that changes it. So I want to draw another line and I'll rotate it again. So space base, type 25. Yeah, as you can see, it's moved. So just by changing the clockwise, um, depends on. You know which way this sort of rotates when you rotate. Uh, another thing you can do though, if it does rotate the incorrect way, is you can mirror it. So I'm going to left click on that grip again, press the space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar, and as you can see down here, it says mirror. And you have orthos on, it'll just rotate the other direction. Another thing you can do too, so if I go over here and I draw another line and I want to rotate, 
Um, I've gone too far, so I'll keep going. Uh, rotate 25. Oops. See, it's gone the wrong way, that way. So what I could do is, I was gonna undo that. So to undo that, I just type U and press Enter. And I'll select that line again. Now watch what I do this time. Last time I did 25 and it went the wrong way. If I press space bar, space bar, we're gonna rotate. If I type this time, uh, minus 25, it will go in the opposite direction. So as you can see, it's gone the opposite way. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna join these two parts together. And the way we're gonna do that is using the fillet command. So type F for fillet, press enter. Now, you wanna make sure that your radius is set to zero. Mine already is set to zero, but if it's not, what we do is we can type the letter R. It's now gonna ask us for our radius for our fillet. We just want to type zero. Press enter, and then we'll select the two parts you wanna join. And the reason we set that to zero is so we get a nice sharp crisp point. If we had a, a radius on it, it would have a have a curve to it. So I'll show you what that would look like. So I'm gonna fill it on a radius. Um, I'll just put 45 and I'll select these two lines. And as you can see, it's got a curve in it. So we don't, we don't want that. So that's why we put it to zero. So I'm gonna undo that. So type U, press enter and space, or space and uh, we have that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offset again. We've already set it 90. So I can just press space and I can offset and offset and I can type F to fulfill it and fill it those. Now generally your, I'm just gonna draw a wall here, just a indicative wall of a house. So this is in section. I'm just gonna type 90, offset again, and this can be our wall. Now depending on the type of wall that you, you have, uh, depends on how far you would generally extend out. So if I make this a brick veneer, so I'm gonna make a cavity of 40 mil, and then I'm gonna offset 110. So this will be a, oh, so I just measure the distance from here to here um, using the distance command. Um, we'll have 240, so as you can see down there. So that's what a, a brick cavity would be. And, that, and this is what generally, how this generally happens. A, a, a roof truss uh, sits generally on top of um, the stud wall in a brick veneer house. So if we had an eave, generally, uh, well, modern houses have small ones, but the, the old style used to be 450. So if I offset, so type O for offset and then enter 450, uh, offset that line. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type EX for extend. I'm gonna select this line and as my extension, what I wanna extend to, press space and then select these lines. As you can see, they've, uh, we'll have, I'll just do the distance command. So we've got 450. And 450 uh, Eve is usually a 600 mil overhang, as you can see there. So the overhang is the part um, where, the, uh, where the truss comes out. And I think I've done that actually wrong there, to be honest. Uh, I have. Um, that's not actually, how that would go. Let's delete that. I'm gonna erase that. Uh, I don't know if anybody else knows that mistake there, um, the way I did that, but um, offset 90 mil back up this way. So and now I'm gonna trim. So I'll type TR, press space or enter, and then press space bar and then trim. And I could trim these too. So press the space bar again to enter the tr uh, trim command again. Select the objects to trim, press space, and trim that. So that's that's more what it should look like. So I, I made a little mistake there. And I'm just gonna put, uh, just so it's a bit easier to see what's going on there. And as you probably know that the um, the brick, you know, doesn't go all the way up usually. It sits a little bit under there. Uh, there's a few different ways that people do that, but I'm, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, okay. So we could do the same thing on the other side. So we before we, we drew this in here, but if we wanted to, we could just um, we could just delete that. So select it, type E for erase, and I'll show you why. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line or a play line straight from the top there down. And I'm gonna offset this time 45 mil, because that's halfway point. And then I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna erase it. Okay, and this time I'm gonna I draw a um, polyline, and there is a 
you know mathematical sort of thing to exactly where this um, uh, web should be. Um, one thing we could do is we could hold down the shift key, press right mouse button, and then say mid uh, mid between two points. Select that, and we'll select there and there, and it's right in the middle between there and there. And then I'll just press space. Now I'm going to offset again, 45. So 45 there and 45 there. Select that. Type E for erase, and I'm going to type EX for extend. Select that. Press space. Okay, and I'm going to trim TR this, and here we go to trim this as well. Okay, and we can trim up here. All right, I'm going to delete that one for now. So what we can do is the easiest way to do this is we can select this and this, and then we'll left click. So we've got a hot grip, and down here again. Remember this? We'll press the space bar. Spacebar again, spacebar again, spacebar again to mirror. Now, ortho is off, so I'm going to press the F8 key. And I'm also going to say copy. So I'm going to type C for copy. And I'll just move the mouse down so it's in the right position. And then left click. And then I can press space. And I'll just press escape. And there we have our roof truss. Okay. Um, so that's a simple sort of way. I mean, uh, I think if we go back to our drawing, it has what it calls, in this uh, image, it calls metal gussets. Um, in Australia, I mean, they, they can be gussets, um, uh, but the ones that are prefabricated in the factories are generally is called nail plates. And there's a couple of companies in Australia that do that. The, the two biggest ones are uh, the gang nail ones and uh, Prida. And, um, okay, so we'll just close that. We could, we could draw those in there too. Uh, depends on how... Um, you know, detailed you want to get. So I'm just going to draw a line about here for now, and I'll maybe I'll come across, I don't know, perhaps 400 mil, and I'm going to come up, come up uh, maybe 200, and then across 400, and I can type C for close. Okay, and we have that there. So now what we can do. Um, is first thing I want to do is I want to select that, press the space bar, I want to move it. I'm going to uh, hold the shift key down, then right click. I'm going to say mid between two points, and I'm going to click here, in here. So the mid, so the um, nail plates in between there. And now we're going to use the move command a different way. It's going to type M for move. I'm select the object. I'm going to select the midpoint, and then I'm going to sort of uh, move over here. Now, if you don't have this happening, what if you can see what it's, what's going on for me here. When I highlight there, this, this other sort of line comes up. Um, the way you make that come on is if you press the F11 uh, key. So I'll just press the 11, F11 key now and it's turned off. I press F11 and do it again. So, and then I can left click and it's in the middle. So there's that. So with a nail plate, there's, um, you can either, you know, Put a solid hatch in there or leave it or just we could just trim all that out if we wanted to what we'll do is we'll make a copy of this so we can look at different ways to do it so i'm going to see for copy and select all that press space and i'm going to move one up here so what we're going to do is we're going to trim now tr select the rectangle and then we clean out that oh we missed one so so it's sort of got that look and that doesn't look too bad um you could hatch it, so to hatch it we'd type BH for BH. And uh, we'll go to, I don't know, uh, perhaps this brass one. And we'll select object, just like this. Press space, and we'll preview it. And it looks a bit dense, so we'll maybe make that uh, five. Press preview. Um, maybe a little bit more, so I'll press space again to go back to the normal screen and try eight. Preview. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm not a big fan of it, to be honest. Um, I'm going to press the space bar. Uh, another thing we can do is uh, I'm going to specify the origin of that hatch because I don't like where it is. And I can click a new origin. Let's click here. And we preview that. And it's, it's nicely centered there now. And it looks a little bit better. So I'm going to press space and I'm going to press OK. 
So there's our sort of uh, roof truss there. Now to do some other ones, um, perhaps if we wanted to do something on the angle here, what we'll do is we'll type uh, PL for polyline, press a space, and then we'll click somewhere. We'll go perhaps 100 mil, and then we'll go up, um, perhaps we'll go up 50 mil, across 100 mil, and then type C for close. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna select that grip, press the space bar, and we're gonna move it to, I'm gonna hold down the shift key, and say, uh, and then press right mouse button, and then press, click on mid between two points, so here and here. And I'm gonna click it again, I'm gonna press the space bar, space bar again, so now we're on rotate. And what we're gonna do this time, is we're gonna type R for reference, and what we're gonna tell it, we're gonna tell it from this base point, and then we'll click the second one, this is what, where it is, and now it's going to ask me for a new angle, and I'm going to click on that. And actually, that's uh, <laughs> that's not the angle I wanted, but uh, that's all right. We can we can learn from that. I'm just going to move this now, so I'm going to select that from that point, press the space bar, and I'm going to move it to here. We're going to try that again with the rotate. So left click, so it's hot grip. Press the space bar, space bar. So we're in rotate. Now we'll type R. The spacer. So we click the base. Then we'll click here, and now it's going to ask us for the next point. So we'll find something to click onto, and now, as you can see, we're we're in along the same lines. So one thing we can do now is I can just draw a line, so L for line here to here, and I'm going to press the space bar to enter it, uh, to exit it, and then we'll uh, what we're going to type is M for move, and we'll select that. And from that point to there, in the middle, and we'll move again. So this one, from here to the midpoint. And as you can see, we're, we've got our nail plate now on an angle. And we can trim that, so T for trim. And I'm going to draw a line from the tip up. doesn't matter where you go, just click somewhere. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select the nail plate. I'm going to click there on that point, on the tip of the truss. And I'm going to press space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. And as you can see, we're now in mirror. And I'm going to say C for copy. Make sure the ortho is on. And I move my mouse down and left click. And now I can just escape out. Select that. Type E for uh, erase. And now I can trim. So TR for trim. And we'll trim that one already. And uh, well, yeah, we can do the same, same there. We've got this nail plate. Um, so, well, we can just grab this nail plate. As a bit of practice, we'll use this nail plate. So, we'll type CO for copy. Select the object. And we'll grab from there and move it down to here. Press escape to get out of that command. We'll select it. Hot grip. Oops, and I've gone too far. Just going to press escape out for a minute. So, I'm going to select it again. And press, uh, click on the point. So, we've got a, a hot grip. Press space. Um, space and we're on rotate. I'm going to type R for reference. So click on there to there. And because we've got ortho on, we don't actually need to click on anything. We can just move the mouse in a certain direction as long as we're not snapping. So you can see the, the nail plate's moving in the right direction. Then we can just left click and it's facing the right direction. I'm going to draw another line from this point uh, to this point. I type M for move and I select this. And I'm going to grab it from the from the midpoint down to this midpoint, and then I'm going to move it again. M for move from here to here. So we have that, and we can do a another um, mirror. So I'll type L from the middle of there, and then I'm going to select that and select that one. Uh, make a hot grip. Press space, 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 space. We're in mirror. Type C for copy, and left click. And we have our um, King Post uh, roof truss. All right, so we can trim all that out. So I've actually uh, written a program that can do this too, if anybody's interested. It only works in uh, metric at the moment. Um, but up the top here, I have this thing called 
uh, trust code. I think I've got it set up. We'll soon find out. So we could do it generally draws a um, what's called a fink type truss. So I'm going to select roof truss A frame. It's going to at the bottom here ask me for insertion point, and I can click a width or enter a width that it's going to click a point. It's going to ask me for roof pitch. I might say 30 degrees. Overhang will say 600, and thickness will just press enter for 90. And this is what my software does. It automatically uh, draws it all for you. So it's a very handy program, and I'll I'll put a link to that on my website. Um, there is a trial version, and it does cost money to use. Um, I also have another shadow program where you can, if you uh, use the credits for it, you can use the, this trust program um, as a part of it. So it's very cheap to to to, to use that way. It's a bit a bit of a subscription sort of basis, but. Um, anyway, look, I'll, I will do another video on a different type of truss, uh, perhaps more, one more like this. As I said, this is a, um, a, a king post um, configuration of the webs, and this one's called a fink, which is sort of does that. It doesn't have a post in the middle, it, it, it sort of does this. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. Thanks.